Hi guys, I'm just uh, wanted to make a little quick video. Um, you know, for people on the fence about buying a fishing kayak, I just picked up the, uh, actually a few months ago I picked it up, the Wilderness Recon. And I just wanted to show you guys how I have it set up um, and where I keep it. So, I have an unfinished garage, it's an older garage, but I have a good setup in here. Um, as you can see, Basically, it's these, um, get these at any hardware store, these are called bosses, and I have some PVC on top of those uh, pool noodles that the kids use, and basically, I got some Gorilla Tape just holding it in place, and it's very sturdy. It doesn't go in the way. I notched out. I'm lucky enough to have this along the wall here, so if you can see here, yeah, I notched it out. And I have to keep a car in here with it, so it's kind of tight. But uh, let's move over to the uh, kayak. So I want to show you guys how... There's not a lot of videos on YouTube showing how you get it into the um, the truck. It's, it's not brain surgery. Um, it's pretty much... A matter of opening this stuff. This uh, backflip cover, which I love. Okay, sorry about that. And this is the kayak. All right, so I'm gonna get it in there. So I gotta put this so everyone can see it. Put it from a distance, I guess. Top of my car here. You guys will be able to see it from a distance. I'll do it real quick. So we'll move over to the kayak. This is, I did my homework. This, this kayak's insane. It has uh, some of the paperwork, it's 39 inch beam, but most of it says 38. So it's a 38 inch beam, um, very stable. Let's try to flip it on its side, hold on. In one second. So you can see the bottom of this thing. It's got a pontoon bottom and a nice V in the front. So with this kayak, okay, just drop the GoPro. With this kayak, when a wave comes at you, and any kayak for that matter. You face the wave directly at it, and it usually has a following wave afterwards, because I fish in inlets and stuff. Some hairy situations, and um, the second wave that's following, you just slowly backpedal after the first one. And I'll be honest with you, this thing is more stable than most of the boats I've been on in the 20 foot, 18 foot range. It sounds crazy, but it's unbelievable. And it's one of the best looking kayaks out there, in my opinion. And if you have a pickup truck, this is how you do it. Now we'll move over to the other basic stuff that you need. Let's see how it fits in here. Okay. Alright, so here we are. So you're going to need, obviously, a paddle. Alright, a good paddle fishing gear obviously your fishing poles 
Oh, uh, let's see. A nice net. What I did was I had I used to have a boat, so I took this net. I love this net, and I cut it down a little bit. This tape is just to hold this on, but it's easier with a shorter net and a kayak. You don't want to you want that width in case you get a monster. And you want that uh you don't want too long a uh the length of a net on a kayak because it's very cumbersome. A nice uh, crate. I bought the Yak Attack. It's called a black pack. Um, put your tackle box, GoPro stuff. You know, like a um, raincoat. And I love this fishing bag. Incredible. Um, probably just a typical small bag of ice. And... That's pretty much it. Put my drinks in there. Once I get a fish, I take some of the drinks out, or all of them out, and I throw my fish in there. Yeah, so let me show you how. Sorry for this crude video. I mean, I'm not a videographer. But I'm just trying my best. Because I know there's people out there that are, that are interested. And. I've said it before and I'll, I'll say it again. If I hit the lottery tomorrow, I would buy another one of these because I would have one for pedaling and paddling and one for, I would put a motor. The motor goes on the back here. There's other options. You could put motors in the front too. Um, all right, I'll try to show you guys without dropping the camera how I do this. So an F-150 has let me show you i'm scared to even see this video when i'm done with it it has uh hooks and with this particular kayak and i'm presuming most kayaks you go through the handle okay and you come back to the other handle and to the other hook, but I have to let some line out. Okay. And then the other one. Jump up here. Okay. Slide this up a little, a little bit. You want it against the back of the truck. Here, once again, you hook it, hook, and you go through the top of the kayak, over this handle here, and hook it over here. And then what I do is, I don't tighten it up the night before, I'll wait until the morning. I'll give it a little tension, but nothing crazy. And you don't want to over tighten these things when you're using a, a ratchet type system with kayaks i'm gonna jump down here hopefully without breaking my neck you don't want to over tighten because you know you could crack something so you want to real snug and i'll do this one later on the other side and not not, not crazy like a caveman crushing it down just um, a beautiful kayak well built I got a pedal drive I have inside. You know what? Might as well show you guys that. Why not? It's the pedal drive here. Well built, heavy duty. I'm presuming that with this pedal drive, as long as you keep it up, maintenance up with this thing. Um, Grease it every year, it should be fine. It should last several years. That's how strong it feels. Of course, a nice kayak cart. Picked up this one here. Really nice. And uh, well, I hope this was helpful. And I, I mean, I'm an accomplished fisherman. I've caught some monsters. I wish I would have got them on video, but I'm a little, you know, I'm not a spring chicken. I'm not at all. I'm in good shape for my age, but I waited too long to get this thing. What I was thinking, I don't know. But hopefully I'm going to enjoy many more years with this. And uh, some more advice. 
as I said, when you see a wave coming at you, make sure you hit it directly, straight on. Don't race into it, just let it come at you and slowly go forward. And the second one, back pedal, but make sure you're always facing that wave. The thing with a kayak is, for safety reasons, you always want to be, the fishing is secondary. Safety is everything. So you want to make sure that you follow a safety protocol. And when you see a boat come by you, if you're in the you know, ocean or wherever, inlet, bay, that comes first. Even if you got a fish on, and you put, put it in the rod holder. Because that's the most important thing. And, and the most important thing, really, is make sure you know how to swim. Because if you don't know how to swim, um, you shouldn't really have a kayak. Not to be cruel or anything, I just care about people's safety. I don't want to see anybody get hurt. But um, that's it. And this is uh, how this thing looks. A little dark in here, but make sure when you store your kayak, you get these PVC uh, pipes. They're pretty cheap. And always have that as touching the kayak. All right, guys. Um, again, I'm new with this. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I don't know, tight lines, guys. All right, guys. Um, if we make a quick video here. I'm about to take out my uh, kayak. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to launch. over here I'm trying to climb over this here okay. Let me see up there. I'm just gonna drift with the tide this is Long Island New York privileged to live out here it's beautiful the water's clean and um, all right I could do this without falling or breaking my neck Hopefully there'll be some fish on the horizon. 